All right, guys, here's a quick little update on the grown-up corn tool and cutter grinder. This is my plate, and I cast this um, about three inches thick. Dimensions are not quite 23 by not quite 14. Thir uh, 22 and three quarters, 13 and three quarters type of thing, three inches thick. Um, weigh is just about 100 and 10 pounds, I think, uh, about 90 pounds, I guess, because I used about a bag and a half of sacrete. Um, this is mortar mix. Now, I've always considered mortar mix to be a non-structural item. They claim this is structural, and, you know, it seems to be, I think it's got like 6,400 pounds strength on it when it's cured. When I cast this, I cast my, I ran dowels in for my three, uh, three bolts that I wanted to bolt it down and then we countersunk them on the bottom with three holes down here. So I've got a coat of paint on the tool and cutter grinder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it in place and bolt it down. I want to make sure it bolts down flat so that it doesn't um, twist the castings at all and make sure my front bar still moves with smooth the way it's supposed to. Once I get that done, if everything's fine there, then I'm going to go ahead and uh, epoxy the column in place. I've got a coat of paint on the two base castings. They're going to get at least one more good coat of paint on them. And I will probably, I don't know if I'm going to leave this color or not. I was looking for a standard gray. This is a gray that I had and I wanted a uh, I wanted a little more contrast between my colored base and my and my um, casting. So I may leave it this way. I may change it. I'm just putting a little piece of saran wrap down on the bottom so that I don't actually epoxy the column to the to the um, base. And I think it's thin enough. It's not going to affect the not going to affect anything as far as the strength of it. Now I did go and get stainless steel hardware for it and I've already ground the back when it needs clearance for the the rear bolt hole to anchor it down but I got um, all stainless hardware to mount it. Nuts, I think those washers are gonna be um, small enough diameter that they'll fit in otherwise I'll have to make some changes there. But anyway, the way it's going to go together is and I've relieved in the corners for the for the squares so they will set down the way they're supposed to hopefully. I set this up with standard hardware, so I'm going to have to go back and relieve just a little bit more for them to set all the way in. And in the interim, I've gone ahead and bored this for a split cotter down in here. I haven't built a split cotter yet but that will come directly. Let's see, let me grab a socket for this. Let's see what we did right and what we did wrong here. Now, before we do this, let's go ahead and bolt it down.
I've got some bedding compound mixed up here and I've already got the hardener installed in it. We're adding a little bit of thickener to it, a little bit of fiberglass flock to it. I've already cleaned the end of this shaft and the inside of the bore. And um, we've still got real good movement on this, on the front bar. So that's gonna do everything it's supposed to do there. And we'll go ahead and bed this in. And um, we'll have it on and off several times. The main reason I went ahead and put a coat of paint on, a pretty good coat of paint on, because uh, I've still got a little bit of places to fill and things like that. But I didn't want to get oil and grease and fingerprints and whatever else was beaten around the shop um, embedded into that aluminum and have to clean it off later. So I'm not sure if I'm happy with that color or not. I might go with a little bit lighter gray. I might, uh, I might leave it just like it is and just add some more, just add a couple more coats to it uh, once I get the rest of the body work done on it. I'm going to have this much time invested in it and money invested in it that I might as well make it as nice as I can make it. So. I think that looks pretty good there. Let's get some of this work down on the inside of the bore. We want our keyway up front, but we're going to rotate this down through as we Keep an eye on that and see how that sets up, but I don't anticipate that being a being an issue at all. There we go.
So we'll let that sit and cure. So there's where we're at with this project. Um, and I can start on any of a number of things next. I'll, I need to get this split cutter done and I need to work on the end caps and adjustments for this. Um, you know, and I can kind of break this down and then work on these components. We're just going to build everything in place right here so everything matches up and fits the way it's supposed to. And uh, I think we'll end up with a nice tool when we're done. So anyway, so far I'm happy with that. I, um, when I have it off next time, why I'll probably finish painting the bases up and everything. We'll set these down so they set flush. I fit these originally with uh, the cutouts in them with a um, standard zinc plated carriage bolt and they set down flush on top of here, which is what I want. I don't want them to be able to gather any grit or anything. So we'll just open up that square a little bit. We'll just open up the squares down in here so that that sets on down there. And um, when we do a final set in place, we may put, we may seal the bottoms and um, set them in place that way. And uh, that way they can, uh, looks like I've got a little bit of a, you can almost see a little gaposis there. But uh, I think it's just the way it's set and more than anything else. So they were machined off, they were originally machined off flat on the mill, but I've sanded the bottoms and cleaned them up a little bit and had some paint on there and stuff. So they may not be exactly as flat as they were. So we may just put a, a thin shim underneath there, a little thin gasket, something like that to hold them in place, won't hurt a thing. All we are is, all we're after is for it to be one solid unit and uh, have quite a bit of mass to it. And I think I've accomplished that. You know, with the way it sits now, I think we had, I think I said about 90 pounds, 80, 90 pounds here on the base and I know we had another 30 in the uh, rest of the castings that are on here so we're probably about 115 120 pounds I'm guessing right now and we'll just build off of that um, I do have the I do have the castings for the for the uh, motor and everything that we'll have to start working on them this is the pivot assembly that goes back down inside like yay um, I believe I've got the castings made for this and of course this is the this is the rocker adjustment that sets down on there but I'll have to dig out the rest of my castings for this and see what I've got see what I need to need to cast up yet I think I've got most of the patterns done Anyway, there's some forward progress on it. Hopefully you find it a little bit interesting. Comments, suggestions, leave them in the comment section for me below, guys. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch.